What is up guys, Doc Redstone here. And today I have a tutorial for you guys on how to um, build a T flip flop and uh, how they actually work. So it's another Minecraft science video. Um, basically, if you don't know why uh, you build a T flip flop or what a T flip flop is, it is a way to turn a button into a lever. Um, basically, it's a circuit. Um, but everybody knows levers constantly keep things powered. Um, why lever or buttons only cause them to pulse. Um, however, with T flip flops, you can turn a button into a lever, basically, and cause um, something to stay permanently on, and press it again, and cause it to turn off. Um, so it's pretty cool. And uh, this is a T flip flop design that's based on a monostable circuit. And there's a couple different ways to build T flip flops. Um, I'm going to show you a different way, um, as well as this way and this is basically using monostable circuits um, basically just some quick background um, pistons when they receive a one tick pulse which is generated by monostable circuits um, when they're sticky pistons they don't retract blocks um, this was because a while back I think it was in 1.8 there was a duplication glitch with pistons um, and so Mojang decided that um, when they're given a one tick pulse, pistons won't pull back the block, and that was to prevent the duplication glitch. Um, however, you know, so um, when they receive a one tick pulse, they push it. When they receive another one, they pull it, and uh, that's just how um, it works. Um, now, this isn't the only way. Like I said before, uh, you can build a T flip flop um, with pistons, um, and this is another design and as you can see it flips and this is basically the same thing that's used in block swappers and if I put a redstone lamp here you can see it's powered and press it unpowered um, so that's that um, here's another way and this is the exact same design but with an extra redstone torch and this is to quote unquote supercharge it um, which will basically allows it to react instantly this has a I want to say 10 tick delay before it's allowed to do anything, this one reacts instantly. So as you can see, as soon as the button was pressed, it flips. And it's actually not instantly, there's a tenth of a second delay, but whatever. Um, so it flips, and so here is half of a T flip-flop. Um, and T flip-flops work in a similar principle to bud switches, um, which is what allows this design to work. Now some of them, like this, don't work at all like a bud switch, um, and just work to work. <laughs> um, no, they're similar properties, but um, this is similar to a bud switch design. As you can see, this block is adjacent to the piston, and so if I press this button, you can see it retracts and then it pushes forward. Now this action happens on both these pistons, however this one's already retracted and this one isn't. So basically, the piston that's extended needs to retract and then push forward. However, the piston that's already retracted, the only action it has to take care of is pushing forward. And since it has one less action to take care of, it actually reacts first. Um, and the reason this piston, despite the fact that it's powered, is not pushing is because pistons can't push extended pistons. Um, that's Everybody, I think, knows that. Um, so anyway, here's another quick design. Um, this one does not rely on the bud switch technology. Um, basically, you press a button, and this is powered right here. Then a tick later, this is inverted, and this is unpowered. And that causes for the same sort of um, retract, extend motion. And so if I go ahead and press this button, you can see it extends and swaps. And basically, like I said earlier, this is how block swappers work similarly. And uh, this is powered, and press it again, and now it's depowered. Um, here's another one. This one uses another monostable circuit design, and um, it reacts instantly, which is why I prefer monostable circuit designs. They require one less redstone torch. Um, as you see, this one I press, it reacts instantly, turns this guy on, press it again, reacts instantly, turns it off. Um, so this one, like I said, requires one extra torch and makes it a bit more bulky. Um, the torch doesn't have to be here, it could be on top, but it still does make the design larger and bulkier, um, which is why most people prefer their monostable circuits, or their T-flip-flops to have a monostable circuit. So anyway, um, that's just a quick tutorial. Um, there's plenty of T-flip-flop designs out there. Minecraft 
Addict has his Minecraft, uh, um, Minecraft gallery. Um, if you check out his channel, he has tons of T flip flops and monostable circuit T flip flops. Uh, if you want to see some other designs. So anyway, guys, this has been Doc Redstone. Thank you so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks again, guys. Peace.